My name is Reverend Maurice McAfee, Ben Harbor Chapter, uh, PUSH. Uh, we're certainly glad that each and every one of you have come from distant and far for this cause of justice uh, that we will certainly rally around together. It is not a Ben Harbor thing, but it is a democracy thing. So we are certainly glad that we are here, that we are standing together, united and unified on this common cause. At this time, I'd like to present to some and introduce to others our state coordinator for a Rainbow Push, Chapter Pastor David Bullock. Give him a hand. No justice. No peace. 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 That's why we're here today. That's right. We're here today to save democracy. We're here today to fight. That I, so that our voices can continue to be heard. We do not need dictators. No. No. We do not need dictators in Michigan. Somebody say no. No. We need democracy in Michigan. Yes. When you when you when you dismantle democracy, when you take people's voices and their vote doesn't count, and you put a czar or a dictator over the city and over the school district in the name of fiscal responsibility, but then the budget balloons under the czar. When you take away people's right to elect their own representatives, and then you appoint from the top down a slave master, I mean a dictator, I mean a emergency financial manager. then something is wrong with that situation. This is America. This is Michigan. Now somebody asked me, I, we just got back from Washington, D.C., Reverend Jackson, and I met with the Department of Justice, with the Civil Rights Department in D.C. on yesterday, and someone raised a question. They said, well, Reverend Bullock, why, why are you all so mad with this, this legislation? What's wrong with this emergency manager legislation? What's wrong with public acts? number four. I mean, we, we don't really quite understand why you're going to be at the Blossom Time Parade in Benton Harbor on Saturday letting the governor know that you do not appreciate the direction that the state is going in. What, what, what's really wrong? And I said, you know what's wrong? What's wrong is that Martin Luther King died. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Medgar Evers died. That's right. Rosa Parks sat down and went to jail. So that we all could have the right to vote. Yeah. We've got the 14th Amendment. Yeah. We've got the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Yeah. So that red and yellow, black and white, we all precious in God's sight, could elect the people that we wanted to govern. And if they don't govern the way we think they should govern, then we unelect them. We vote them out. We recall them, but we don't need anybody putting a czar over our school districts and over our cities, nullifying contracts, trying to bust unions, uh, and making our voices null and void. That's not what democracy looks like. So we're here today organizing. We're going to let the governor know today he's going to he's gonna have to do something different. Amen. We want the House and we want we want the Senate to know they're going to have to do something different. Yeah. State Supreme Court, Federal Attorney General, we want to let every, let them know they have to do something different. Yeah. I'm going to close with this as I bring one of our allies, Mayor Pro Temp, Muhammad, Ben Harbor, before he comes, I want to say this because some say, well, you know, Governor Snyder is a nice guy. They say, you know, those, those emergency managers, those are our friends. We, we grew up with those guys. We know those guys. We, we went to lunch with those guys. We had coffee. We had coffee with them. We played golf. With, with, with those men and women. You know, they went to school for that. You know, they, 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 they're not that bad. And, and you know, it remind, it remind me of 
certain folk who were alive during slavery. But so, you know, I was in the master's house. The master's not that bad. You know, the, the, master, the master let me stay in his house. The master let me get some cold water from his icebox. Master's not that bad. And I want to remind you that if you're against slavery, you have to be against the master. Right. If you're against slavery, you have to be against the overseer. If you are against this legislation, then you have to be against the machinery that implements the legislation. You cannot be friends with the overseer and the master and anti-slavery at the same time. And so we fight for democracy and draw a line in the sand. Either you are for democracy or you are not. That's right. That's right. And if you are not for democracy, then we must kindly ask you to move out of the way. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice.